we had seen some basics of quadratic equation. We have completed that. Now what we are going to do is we are going to move ahead with the basics of next chapter. That is basics of arithmetic progression. So what do you observe in the following figures? Now check. I'm going to present you some pictures and you have to identify what do you observe in the following pictures. Now check. What do you observe in this picture? See, what are the things you are observing in these pictures? Each picture is got a definite pattern. Each picture is got a definite pattern. A certain pattern has been followed while creating these things. Understand? So while creating these things, a certain pattern has been followed. Namita school offered her a scholarship of rupees thousand when she was in class six and increase the amount by 500 each year till class 10. The amount of money in rupees Namita received in class 7, 8, 9 and 10th were respectively 1500, 2000, 2500 and 3000. Now check each year the amount has been increased by 500 rupees. So first it was 1000, then it went to 1500, then 2000, 2500, then 3000. Each of the numbers in the list is called a term. So whatever the numbers which are there here, each number, okay, each number is called the term. 1500, 2000, 2500, each number here represents a term. Here we find that the succeeding terms are obtained by adding a fixed number. Now see, what do you observe here? The, the change which you see. Okay. Succeeding numbers. Okay is by addition of a fixed number is by addition of what a fixed number you can see a fixed number which is been added understood that fixed number is nothing but 500 rupees now we look at the second example in a saving scheme the amount becomes double after every 10 hours, the maturity amount in rupees of an investment of rupees 8,000 after 10, 20, 30, and 40 years will be respectively 16,000, 32,000, 64,000, 1 lakh, 28,000. So now when you look at this particular numbers, understand again here, a definite pattern has been followed. Here we find that the succeeding terms are obtained by multiplying with a fixed number. The number of the unit squares in a square with sides 1, 2, 3, 4 units are respectively 1, 4, 9, 16 and so on. Now see so here with side 1, so one into one, because you know the area, how do you write that? You write that as side into side. So that is one into one, one square. Now for two, it is two into two. So you get four boxes here. For three, check three into three. And for four, it's four into four. That is 16. Now here we can observe that one equals to one square. Understood 4 equals to 2 square, 9 equals to 3 square, and 16 equals to what? 4 square. 
Here, the succeeding terms are the squares of the consecutive numbers. Understand here, the pattern of square has been followed. The pattern of square has been followed. So there is some specific patterns which are been followed. Understand this. Now consider the following list of numbers. Check here, one, three, five, seven, nine. Each term is obtained by adding two to the previous term. Check here. Each term here. Check three. Okay. From one, when you're getting three, you're adding two. From three, when you're shifting to five, you're adding two. Understood. From five, when you're moving to seven, it is plus two. And again, from seven, you're going to nine. It is plus two. Understood. So here what you will get plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. So each term here is obtained by adding two to the previous number. Now here, check it is 10 becoming eight, eight becoming six, six becoming four, and four becoming two. So that means here, understood? You'll get difference of two. You're going to get difference of what? Two. So you add minus two to each term. Understand this check. From 10, when you're shifting it to eight, you'll get that as minus two. From eight, you're moving to six. You're going to get that as minus two. So here, each term is obtained by adding minus two to the previous term. Let's see the next set of numbers minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Now, when you look at these numbers, so what you're going to get? Each term is obtained by adding one to the previous term. Check here each term. Understand from minus three, when you're going to minus two, you're adding plus one. Understand from minus two when you're shifting to minus one, you are adding again plus one. From minus one, you are moving to zero again, you're adding plus one. Understand? So here each term is obtained by adding one to the previous term. Now we are check. All the terms are same. All the terms are what? Same. So each term is obtained by adding zero to the previous term. So that means the previous term is unchanged. You have added zero. You know, when you add zero, the term is going to remain unchanged. So it is five, 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 five. Is this clear in here? Now we'll come to the definition. Understand? Now, what is a sequence? A list of numbers having a specific relation between the consecutive terms is generally called a sequence. It means a group of numbers, okay, which have got a specific relation. Now, here, check. You have seen they're increasing by a specific number. They're decreasing by a specific number. Or say you're multiplying it, you're doubling it with a specific number. Understand? So all this, there is a specific relation. Understand, there is a specific relation between the consecutive terms. Understand, it's called a sequence. Example. Now, when you look at numbers 1, 3, 5, 7. Now, when you look at the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7. The next term to a term is obtained by adding 2 with it. Understand, now check here. Each term here is obtained by adding 2 to the previous number. And check here, 2, 6, 8, 54. Each term to a term, I'm sorry, sorry, the next term to a term is obtained by multiplying 3 with the previous number. Understand, check 2, you multiply with 3, you get 6. 6, you multiply with 3, you get 18. 18, you multiply with 3, you get 54. Understand, so next term here, 
Okay, is obtained by multiplying three with it. Arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. So whatever the difference is going to come between the two terms, understand, we are moving to the definition of arithmetic progression. Understand, so what is an arithmetic progression? It is a sequence of a number, okay, where the difference between the two consecutive terms, where the difference between the two consecutive terms is constant. For instance, the sequence 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 is an arithmetic progression with common difference of 2. So here each sequence, each sequence, okay. What has happened here? The arithmetic progression, okay, with common difference 2. So here each number, understand there, is increased by 2. Okay, 2. 7 to 9, 2. 9 to 11, 2. 11 to 13, 2. 13 to 15, 2. Here each term, understand, is increasing by adding 2, which is same, which is same, understand, which is constant, understand, this is what? Constant. So when you will come across this kind of a sequence, where each term, understand, is increasing with a constant number. The two six eighteen fifty four. Understand next term to a term is to be obtained by multiplying with three. Now we are two five eight eleven fourteen. Understand now here when we are talking regarding multiplying by three, here the common difference is not same, it can be only called as a Sequence check here. This two six. So multiplying with three. Understand? You're multiplying with three. Understand? You're multiplying it with three, which is constant. Understand? Multiplication with three is constant. But the difference between the two terms is not same. That will study later. Understand? I'm going to explain this also. Understand? This is what a sequence. Now your arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic progression is a list of the numbers in each term, okay, obtained by adding a fixed number to the previous term except the first number. Understand? Except the first number, whatever number you are going to add, understand, for a specific list of numbers, okay, that number should be what? Fixed. Check. I told you, which is obtained by adding. This word is very important. By adding a fixed number by adding what a fixed number we look at an example this fixed number is called the common difference of the ap it can be positive negative or zero this number which is there understand the number which is there it can be positive it can be negative it can be zero The final portion of an arithmetic progression is called a finite arithmetic progression and sometimes just an arithmetic progression. The sum of finite arithmetic progression is called an arithmetic series. The behavior of the arithmetic progression depends on the common difference. If the common difference understand it should be same. Now, if the common difference is positive, understand if the common difference is what? Positive. If the common difference is positive, the members or the terms will grow towards the positive infinity. Understand, if it is positive, it will move towards what? The positive infinity. And if there are negative members, if there are negative members, the terms will grow towards the negative infinity. It will move in the backward direction in the negative infinity. Example for AP. Now check here. 
if you consider these balls here, five balls, one, two, three, and four. I can check one, two, three, and four. Here, each time the ball is being increased by adding one to the previous term. Let's check for one, you have added one, it is becoming two. Now for two, you are adding one. This is becoming three. For three, you are adding one. This three is going to become four. So each time here, what has happened? Your each term is increased by one. So what is your common difference here? The common difference is what? One. Okay. This is equals to D. This one ball is equals to D. Where D equals to what? One. So A. A plus D. Your third term is A plus 2D and A plus 3D. Now we are moving to the formula. Now we are deriving the formula. Understand this. So just remember your first term is A. Understand your first term is A. Second term, you get by adding difference to the first term. Understand A is your first term. Then what happens to again this a plus d? You are adding the difference. So you get a plus 2d. Again, for a plus 2d, you are adding the third number. Means the difference, you get rather a plus 3d. The general form of the arithmetic progression is now this is very important. Check. A, A comma D, A comma, sorry, A, A plus D, comma, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, and so on. So this will move to A plus N minus 1 into D. So each time you have to just apply 1. So where A is called the first term. Now this is very important. Now we are coming to the formula. A is called the first term. And D is what? D is the common difference. Formula for common difference. Let us denote the first term of an AB by A1, second term by A2, and N term by AN. Then the common difference by D. Then AP becomes understand. So that is second term minus the first term. We have D representing term. So T2 minus T1. Understand? T3 minus T2. And Tn minus Tn minus 1. That is equals to what? D. So Tn minus Tn minus 1 equals to D. Remember this formula of common difference. Common difference, the fixed number which is obtained by subtracting any term from AP from its previous term. If we take the first term of A, B as D and common difference as D, then the nth term of that A, B will be Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. This formula you have to remember. This formula you have to remember because this would be used to solve the question. So Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. Arithmetic progression. So the initial term of the arithmetic progression is D, and the common difference of the successive term is D. Then the nth term of the sequence is given by Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. Finite and infinite arithmetic progressions. Now see from the word itself will come to the definite is finite and infinite. For finite you can count. Okay, for finite you can count. And here you cannot count. It is infinite. Check the number of students is class 5 to 10. You can count. Understand? You can count the door because they are finite numbers. Okay. And they have the last term. But for infinite A B you cannot get the last term because you don't know which is the last number. Understand? You don't have the last 
चलो टू फाइंड द एंथ टर्म ऑफ एन एपी लेट अस कंसीडर एन एपी विद फर्स्ट टर्म ए एंड कॉमन डिफरेंस टी देन चेक योर फर्स्ट टर्म अंडरस्टैंड योर फर्स्ट टर्म टी वन ए प्लस जीरो टी From where did we get the zero? From where did we get the zero? From where did we get the zero? So you know formula of T n, which I told you, T n equals to T plus n minus one into d. So here you are substituting in place of n, you are substituting one. Understand? In place of n, you are substituting one. That becomes one minus one into zero d. Next, a plus g. So where did we get a plus g? So check in place of n, you substitute two. So two minus one is what? One. Two minus one is one. So one into d is d. So plus d. Understand? This is your what? The second term. Now when you move ahead to the third term, when you move ahead to the third term, what happens? Check three minus one. What it is? Three minus one, two. So get that as two d. And fourth term. Fourth term, a plus three d. You get that as four minus one. So four minus one is what? Three. And get that as a plus three d. Understood? Just in this way, you will get the first term, second term, third term, and the fourth term. You can find the next terms with the help of this. Tn equals to check. I am writing this formula again and again because it's very important. Understand? Tn equals to a plus n minus one into t. So check at this following numbers. Check at this following numbers. What do you observe in those? Notice in the sequence that if you find the difference between any term and term before it, we always get four checks. If you notice between three to seven, seven to eleven, eleven to fifteen, fifteen to nineteen. Understand here? It is increasing with help of four. Increasing with help of four. So notice in the sequence that we find the difference between the any term and the term before it. We always get what we always get four. Four is then called the common difference, and it is denoted with the letter D. To get to the next term in the sequence, we would add four. So a recursive formula for the sequence is T n equals to T n. Minus one plus four. So in order to get the last term, what you can do is you'll add four to the previous term. So previous term is t n minus one. The first term in the sequence would be a one, which is sometimes written as a. So instead of a one, what you can write, you can simply write that as a. Now look at this. Check plus four plus four plus four plus four. Understand? Each time you want other term in the sequence, you add d. This would mean that the second term was first term plus d. Understand? Check. Second term was first term plus d. So first term is three. Addition with d. Understand? So three plus four, seven is your second term. So that means a plus d. Understand? It's what d. The first term. Plus the difference. Now, the third term is first term plus d plus d. Now d is added twice. Now check a plus d. Understand? You are adding this to get seven. No, and for seven again you are adding the difference. Understand? Again you are adding the difference. So this d is coming two times. So for the third term, the formula is written as a plus. Two D, understand? 
for the fourth term understand first term plus d plus d plus d which is added three times check here you are adding two times to here to get the next term again you are adding d so that means your fourth term is what a plus d you are adding d three times so now you can see to get the nth term we are taken the first term and added d to n minus 1 times we have added d n minus 1 times so the formula is a plus n minus 1 into d try to get try this to get the fifth term we can apply this to get the fifth term a t5 equals to 3 plus 5 minus 1 check in place of n we have substituted 5 because we want the fifth term understand minus 1 so 3 plus 5 minus 1 so that is what 4 and what is your difference your difference is 4 so 3 plus 16 understand first 4 into 4 is what 16 understand 4 into 4 is what 16 so that is 3 plus 16 which is equal to 90 now is the fifth term 90 yes the fifth term is what 90 Understand? So in this way, we are going to solve this. Now let's see an example. Now let a equals to two, d equals to two, and n equals to twelve. Find T n. What is the formula? T n equals to a plus n minus one into d. So two plus twelve minus one into two. So that is two plus eleven into two. So this two plus twenty two. Therefore, T n equals to twenty four. So if you want the twenty fourth. Term, okay. You can directly substitute it in the formula. So you can directly substitute it in the formula, and you get the answer as twenty-four. If you want the twelfth term, okay. if you want to check, just check. Your first term was two, and difference is two. So that means your next term would be what four? Because what two you are adding to? Understand? Now, in order to get the twelfth term, understand? Again, you need to add plus two to the next term, so that four plus two is going to become what six. Understand? Now, in order to do it in this way, each time adding two and getting the number. Understand? We are using the formula for substitution. We are using the formula for substitution. Understand? So we are applying the formula for substitution and we are directly getting the answer. Is this clear to all the students? To check that a given term is in AP or not. Now, how do you check whether the given term is in AP or not? See, the term is what two six ten fourteen two six ten fourteen two six ten fourteen. Now, what you will do? Yeah, the first term is a. The first term is a. Find the differences in the next terms. T two minus T one. Understand? So it is six minus two, which is equals to T three minus T two. Ten minus six. That is equals to what? T four minus T three. That is equals to fourteen minus ten, which is equals to four. Now, since the differences are common, now check here. Each time, what is the difference you are getting? Each time, the difference you'll get is what four. So, each time the difference you are going to get is what four. So, since the differences are common. 
the given terms are in EP. So for an EP, always remember this. This is compulsory question comes in your examinations. Understand? So you have to check whether the differences which are there, whether the differences which are there, are the differences same? So if the differences are same, that means the given term is in EP. Is this clear to all the students? So we move to the next question. Find the 10th term of an AP 12, 18, 24, and 30. Again, what we do is we substitute that it in the formula. The first step B equals to 12. Common difference is G. So that is E minus 12. Check the subtracting 18 and 12. We get that 18 minus 12 equals to 6. B is what? E2 minus C1. Understand it can be written as C3 minus C2. So like that. So if you are doing C3 minus C2, you have to do 24 minus E2. If the sequence understood is in E3, whatever numbers you are going to subtract, means the number after and number before. Understand the difference is going to remain same for any number in this series. Now, nth term is what? 10. So that means nth term is 10. Means that term is not 10. You have to find the nth term actually. Your n equals to 10. n equals to what? 10. Understand? Nth term is 10. So that doesn't mean that your 10th term, understand, means the nth term. Your n is equals to what? 10 in this case. So in place of n, we will substitute 10. So what do you get? T10 equals to 12 plus T minus 1 into 6. So 12 plus 9 into 6, so that is 12 plus 54. So T10 equals to what? 66. You get the 10th term. Understand? Equals to 66. Now we look for the other example. The sum of n terms we find as now there is one more formula which you have to go through. The sum of n terms. The sum equals to n into check first term plus the last term. You have to add first term and you have to add the last term. And you will divide that with two. I'm sorry, you will divide that with two. Now the last term, you know, Tn. What is formula of Tn? A plus n minus 1 into T. So sum is given as check A plus A is your first term. This is your last term. So n upon 2 A plus A plus n minus 1 into T. So A plus A is what? To A plus n minus 1 actually here. This is a typing error here. It's n minus 1 into t. Understand? It's n minus 1 into t. Is this clear? All the students, this is formula of sum of the numbers. Now, derivation. The sum of n term is given as not check if you write it properly understand check a is your first term a plus b second term third term check one two three so on this will go to the last term and if you write this out backwards okay the last term the second last term and so on and now what we are going to do is we are going to add these two equations. So we add these two equations. 
So SL and SL is what two SL. Now so SL and SL is what two SL. So two A plus N minus one into G plus two A plus N minus one into G. Like that, you will go on adding all this. Now when you add both of the equations, understand? You'll directly get S N equals to N upon two in bracket two A plus N minus one into G. You directly get n upon 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into t. Find the number of the number of terms of 100, 500, 110, 15, 500. Now check you have to find the number of terms. You have to find the number of terms. Number of term is what? N. You don't know what is value of N. This is your first term P. And this is your last term. That is TN. So first term is A equals to 100. A equals to 500. Common difference is G. You find the common difference which is 105 minus 100. So that is equals to 5. Nth term is Pn equals to A plus N minus 1 into T. Now you are going to substitute all the values which are known to you. 500 equals to 100 plus N minus 1 into 5. So 500 minus 100 equals to 5N minus 1. So 400 equals to 5n minus 1. So 5 into n minus 1 equals to 400. So we get 5n minus 1 equals to 400. So n minus 1 equals to 400 divided by 5. So that is 2. Now here, minus 1, when it goes to the other side, is going to become plus 1. Understand when it is going to go to the other side, it is going plus 1. So n equals to 80 plus 1. So value of n equals to 80. So how many terms you have your part? 81 terms. Your part? 81 terms. Hence, the number of terms are 81. Now check here. Find the sum of 30 terms of given AP. We have to find the sum of 30 terms. Now check. AP is given to you. AP is given to you. So A is not 12. Now what is value of D? D is 20 minus 12. Because you will subtract this. So 20 minus 12. So D is equal to A. Understood. So we have to find sum of 30 terms, so that means n is also given to you here. n equals to what? 30. n equals to what? 30. Understand, check the first term is a. Common difference 20 minus 12, that is equal to a. And the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression, right? The formula is n equals to n upon 2 in bracket 2 a plus n minus 1 into t. So half into 30. We substitute 2 into 12. Understand, a in place of a, you have substituted 12. In place of n, you have substituted 30. Like in place of a, it is 12. In place of n, it is 30. And here again, check. It is 30 in place of n. Multiplied with the difference that is now after this, we will do the calculation. Come on, students, start doing the calculations. So what you will get? 50 in bracket, 24 plus 29 into 8. So that is 15 in bracket, 24 plus 232. So that is 15 into 246. So that is 3690, 1690. So the sum of the term is, the sum of the term is 3690. The sum of the term is what? 3690.
Is this clear to all the students? Is this clear to all the students? Any difficulty you all can ask? Any difficulty you all can ask? And then we'll move ahead. We'll solve one more example. Two participants have raised their hands. Okay. Roshan. Hello, sir. Yes, Mr. Roshan. Sir, you are teaching that the term of this is the first one. You can learn it once again. Okay, I'll, I'll move back and I'll teach you that. Okay, not to worry. Oh, sir, you have taught the first one that you have taught. You need to know the SN formula and the TN formula, Mr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir. Yes, Mr. Sir, what is the full form of AP and ND? AP means arithmetic progression. AP stands for arithmetic progression. And sir, N or D? N is the number. N stands for the number of that specific term. And D is the common difference. D is called common difference. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Aditya and Diksha. Aditya and Diksha. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning, sir. Sir, that uh, S N uh, formula will you explain once? We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll okay. Do that. Thank you, sir. Yes. Kunal. Kunal, you can unmute and ask, sir. Okay, so we we'll just move. To the formula of SN. Understand it? Yeah. Now here. First we'll do for T and then we come back to SN. First, check formula of sum of n terms. What we'll do is we'll check formula sum of n terms. Now, how do you find that? So, what to do is sum equals to now this n which is there. N is what is the number? N is what the number? N stands for number. So if you're talking regarding, if you're talking regarding sum of 30 terms if you're talking regarding sum of 30 terms you're talking regarding sum of 30 terms so that means your n equals to 30 so n denotes n denotes this number n denotes this number so n multiplied with or n upon 2 multiplied with that. Now, what is your first term? Now, first term in the AP is represented by A. And the last term, which is called as TN, last term, which is called as TN, it is given by the formula A plus N minus 1 into T. Understand? So, A plus A plus in bracket n minus 1 into t. Understood. Now this a plus a, you can add this a plus b. So 2a plus n minus 1 into t. And this n upon 2 will come as it is. And this is your n terms, so sum of n terms. So SN equals to n upon 2 in bracket 2A plus 
n minus 1 into t. Is this clear to all the students? Is it clear lotion? Is it clear lotion? Lotion, is your doubt clear, beta? Is any more doubts, students? Any more doubts? You can ask. Any more doubts, students? You can ask. If there are no doubts, okay, good. Ma'am, should we stop the lecture here or should I continue? Yes, sir, we can stop here. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir.